Hey everyone, welcome back. This is part three of the map editor series. This time we are going to cover creating a new map template. All right, this will be building a brand new base map from scratch. All right, so first we want to open up our servergrideditor.exe. We go to create project. It's going to automatically assign a random number to our Atlas ID. We're going to go and name this. Let's do a two by two. And we're going to name this. Uh, testing template. Alright, so since we're making a 2x2, two two, we're going to specify how many cells we want in each direction. And our cell size is going to be 1,400,000 because that is the largest that we can use. Uh, you can make them smaller, but do not go over 1,400,000, otherwise, you'll start having floating point numbers. We're going to set our column UTC offset to 0, leave additional command line parameters blank, commodity is blank. Uh, if you want to host your map and uh, cell images uh, on a web server, you would fill these out. <clears throat> and uh, then Atlas password, if you want to put an actual entire server map password. All right, so next, this will be auto-filled out if you have the latest version of the map editor. Okay, and then UTC time, you want to make sure that's checked. And then we hit create. So the first thing we want to do is zoom out. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And we want to actually edit every single one of these. So we're going to hold left control and left click into the server. And we're just going to name these uh, what cell they actually are. So this one we'll just call, well, let's make this a home server. So we can actually spawn there. So home server 0-0. Zero zero. And for the moment, I'm just going to use 127.0.0.1. Uh, that's the local host IP address. Um, you would put in the public IP address of your server um, into the IP portion. All right. Next, we're going to do our port. This is our Cori port. All right. So I would like to stay with you know as much vanilla as possible. Um, you can really use pretty much any ports you want as long as they're available. So we're going to do five seven five six zero. And then for game port, we're going to go and do 5760. And then seamless data, we just leave that at 27,000. Uh, it'll auto increment itself. So next, we want to come down here, check home server. Just take a quick peek over this. All right, and save. And now we'll do server 1 0. And we'll put in the IP address again. And then our port, we're going to increment our port up. So 57562 and 5762. And of course, you see seamless data port incremented itself. And save. Notice how this is green text and this isn't. Uh, we'll go into more details on spawn regions in a later video. But the green one means that you can log into that server, provided you have a uh, free port or a lawless island configured. So now we'll just work on this one. And then server 0 1. And the same IP address as before. And then port is going to be 57564. And then 5764. And seamless data port increments again. And then server 1 1. Same IP address as before. And we'll increment this again. So 57566 and 5766. And see the same thing. Uh, <clears throat> goes up another one as well. And so, so now we have IPs on each of these. We have names on each of these. Okay. Uh, the biggest thing is to make sure that if you are copying this over from your official template, uh, the 15 by 15. You don't want to have the base server args, you want to leave this empty. Um, pretty much, you want to leave everything as empty as possible if you're building your base template. Okay? And sometimes this stuff will uncheck, so we're going to select today, and we should be golden. All right, so the next thing we would want to do is make one spawn point um, and assign that a spawn region. So let's grab a uh, Freeport. So we have Freeport KHWRE. So 
let's grab K-H-W-R-E. Let's like scroll right past it. All right, K-H-W-R-E. And we're just gonna left control, left click. We're gonna set this to zero because the list for spawn points starts at zero. We're gonna come up here to edit and spawn regions. And this first one, we're gonna say my first spawn point. And the parent cell is the cell that the spawn point is located in. We're gonna do zero comma zero and save. And we're just gonna save this. Uh, this is a two by two. So like two by two template is what we'll name it. And then save. And now this is not what I would consider playable. Uh, you could spawn in one on this one island. Uh, you know, obviously you have your IPs in here instead of the local host, but this is all you need to get it started right right from the very, very base, uh, bare minimums of the map. Uh, if you want to uh, do server templates and all those other things, I'll be covering those later in more videos. So uh, if it helped you out, give a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Thank you.